Brady can chuck it and score! Nice Shabbat curl and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Five apart, Leonard Chan, Mavic can score! Great Mavic can score! Oh, and drop it! Green! Oh, Green again! And scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, please follow me on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sense Talk. Now, before we get started, a few things. Firstly, in the link in the description below, you can order your Sense Talk shotgun tool. We greatly appreciate the support. We've sold out three times. If you want to buy yours, you don't have to, but if you want to, link in the description below. As well, SeatGeek.com. Use the promo code Sense Talk. You'll save twenty U.S. dollars off your first purchase. Now, before we, tonight's game, the Sanders made a trade with the Carolina Hurricanes, bringing back forward Ryan Zingle. Yes. Zinger is back. Zingle Bells is back, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, big part of that 2017 Stanley Cup Conference Final run. It's back on the team. Ryan Zingle, welcome back to Ottawa. This season, he has two goals and two assists, I believe. In return, the Sanders gave up Cedric Paquette and Alec Galchenyuk, both who have only scored one goal to Ottawa Sanders. Good deal for Ottawa. Galchenyuk wasn't getting any opportunities. Paquette is not that good. And Zingle has potential to do well and flourish in a better role with Ottawa. And then... Uh, he's a free agent at the end of the year, so you can trade him for more assets if if that ends up being the case. So regardless, I like this deal for Ottawa. Zingle brings a solid top nine option to the Sense forward group with speed, and he's a good finisher. So if you put him with a good playmaker, he should be able to finish uh, some of those passes and put some pucks in the back of the net. Now the game number 16 lineup is as follows. We just finished the first period of play. Pretty even game so far, uh, but let's get to it. Firstly, Brady Kachuk with Chris Turney and Connor Brown. Second line, Nick Paul with Colin White and Evgeny Dadanov. That line has been fantastic throughout the last few games. I expect them to do well tonight. Uh, well, they did well in the first period, but moving forward, I expect them to do well. The third line, Tim Stutzla, uh, Derek Stepan, Drake Batherson. I don't know why Stepan's still there. Uh, fourth line, Amisimov takes the Galchenyuk spot with Josh Norris and Austin Watson. Free my guy, Josh Norris. He should not be on the fourth line. Shabbat Zaitsev, Riley Zub, Will and Good Branson scratched. Ryan Dezingle is technically scratched with Matt Murray and Josh Brown. Injured Eric Branstrom. He skated today, however, uh, that means he should be returning soon. Now let's get to the first period of play where the game is 0-0. Um, you know, it looked good. Uh, uh, Hogberg, though, he looked pretty good, to be honest. He looked much better, uh, but the Jets dominated, so Hogberg had to make some big stops, and he did. Now let's get to the second period of play where hopefully things continue in the positive direction. Well, that was a wild second period of play, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So, let's recap it. Firstly, five minutes in, doesn't look too good for Ottawa. It looks like the same old, same old. Five minutes in, Willandon loses his man. Shifley is the man that he loses. Shifley puts him in the back of the net. The Jets lead 1-0. Hogberg can't really do much there. Just the defenseman lost his man. 1-0 Jets. But the Sens respond two minutes later. Colin White with a beautiful backhand pass to Evgeny Dadanov, who tips it home. Ottawa ties at a one apiece. Daddy is home, ladies and gentlemen. Sends tied at one apiece. And I told you, I told you a couple of videos ago that once Dadanov starts scoring, he's going to be a streaky goal scorer. And he's streaking three, well, not, not literally, of course. Uh, in the last four games, Evgeny Dadanov has put in three pucks in the back of the net. So that's a positive sign moving forward for the forward group for Ottawa. Uh, but regardless, uh, after the second period of play, the Sens are in this one. And they must have watched my video yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. They must That must have fired them up because they're playing... They're not playing the best game, but they're in it, and that's all that matters. It's a 1-1 game. Uh, Marcus Hogberg continues to look better. It's a good pace. Both teams looked good and even in that second period. Um, but what's most impressive, in my opinion, was that response by the Sanders. After a sort of a back-breaking goal to make it one nothing Jets, um, they responded accordingly. Uh, that white pass to Dadanov was sick. And um, you know what? Going to the third period, Ottawa's got a shot. So uh, let's get to that right now. And... Uh, Let's see what happened. Sends win! The Sends win, baby! The Sends are back in the win column, ladies. And gentlemen, and it was, frankly, crazy. It was crazy, because we did not deserve to win this game, but we did. We did. Winnipeg Jets fans, if you're watching this, just know you played better. Um, wow. It feels nice. We're finally doing a positive game recap, ladies and gentlemen. 
it's a nice change of pace. I won't lie. All right, we should, we should probably lower that a bit. Whew. Wow. Okay. Um, I am fired up, if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> very fired up. I'm studying midterms and everything, but I took a little bit of a break to do this video and to watch the game, and I got rewarded. You got rewarded. We all got rewarded. It's about time the Sanders are back in the win column. How are they back in the win column? Well, with eight seconds left. Yes, eight seconds left in the game. Mike Riley from the point. Brady Kachuk with the tip. The Sens with the win. Wow. And Winnipeg, as you can see right there, not too thrilled from that one. And that's just a backbreaker goal for the Winnipeg Jets. But that is exactly, that is exactly the break the Ottawa Sanders needed. Go Sens, go indeed. When's the last time? When's the last time Ottawa got a break like that this season? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. When's the last time we got a break like that? We haven't. This is the first time the Sanders had something go their way. And it was a weird type of deflection. It was a beautiful tip by Brady Kachuk. But my, oh my, is it nice to be back in the win column. Holy cow. Um, whew, I'm kind of rambling here, but you know what? I think you guys like it, and I'm just happy to be back in the win column. Okay, okay. Trying to turn off the Sense theme song. Hope you guys like that. But, uh, whew, wow, what a game. What a game. Where do I start? Colin White looked great. Evgeny, da that, that line, Nick Paul with Colin White and Evgeny Dadanoff looks sick. Okay. Um, Mike Riley actually had a good game. RTM Zub is definitely probably the steal of the offseason for the Ottawa Sanders. And um, sends her back in the win column. Marcus Hogberg, congratulations, buddy. After I called for you to be waived yesterday, I'll bite my words. I'll eat my words. I'll bite them, whatever the hell the saying is. You earned the win. You played fantastic. And you... You're a big reason why Ottawa even had a chance to win this one with ten, with just under ten seconds left. Kudos to you, Marcus Hogberg. I'm a, I'll, I'll be, I'll admit it when I'm wrong. I was wrong, and hopefully he can build off this win and continue to impress. Um, you needed this for Marcus Hogberg. He needed this win to stay in the NHL, and this was a huge win for him. This was a huge win for the Sanders organization, and hopefully they can build off this and, um, you know, start winning some more games and start scoring more. But regardless, overall the game. Winnipeg probably should have won that third period. Ottawa was getting hemmed into their own zone. And they just got to bounce. And it's about time we got to bounce. The hockey guys are on our side tonight. I don't know what it is. It's hockey day in Canada. We're the capital of Canada. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But regardless, I'm smiling. I'm in a good mood. Sends win, baby. Sends win, 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 win. Now, the next Sends game is in a couple of days. But before we get to that, some team stats uh, for tonight's game. Ottawa uh, out got outshot only by two, 31 to 29. But to speak volumes about how that third period went, Ottawa got outshot by three, 12 to nine. But if you actually watch that third period, the Sanders really did a good job defensively to push the puck out to the, um, the boards and the, the create open lanes for Marcus Hogberg to see the puck. He, had, he was forced, don't get me wrong, he was forced to make some big stops in that third period. But for the most part in this game, Ottawa did a really good job pushing the forwards to the outside uh, to let Hogberg see the puck. There was no real, except that first goal for the Jets, there was no real chance where uh, Winnipeg had like, um, you know, like five crazy chances in a row like we've seen every other game. There was one instance of where they had a couple of good up close chances but Ottawa really did a good job protecting Hogberg and Hogberg um when tested uh responded now face-offs Ottawa and Winnipeg tied at 24 power plays tied at 0 for 1 each hits were 21 17 favor of the Jets but the Sanders get the most important stat the box score they win this one two to one now ladies and gentlemen I am fired up I hope you guys are fired up make sure to comment below and let me know what you think um the next ends game is on monday at 7 p.m eastern time versus the toronto maple leafs and in that game it should be joey decor starting that's what bruce scariock is saying so we shall see Whew. thank you it's just it just really feels good to finally make a, a fun video for you guys i'm smiling you're probably smiling watching this and uh Let's do it again on Monday, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of forgot to do the Sense Talk Star of the Night. What about you, the fans? By the way, perfect time to say this. Go to my Twitter, at Sense Talk underscore. After every single Sense game, we'll have a poll for you to vote for the Sense Talk Star of the Night so you can participate. But I won't lie. I had to edit out my my outro because I forgot the Sense Talk Star of the Night because I was so fired up to Sense finally won a damn game. Um, so let's get to that. The Sense Talk Star of the Night voted by you, the fans. And for the first time, it's a Sense win. Sense Talk Star of the Night for the first time in... Two and a half weeks, maybe? Three weeks? It's it's surreal. Now, let's get to it. Four star with 2% of the vote with a goal tonight. Evgeny Dadanov. That is three goals in the last four games. And let me say something. I didn't see Evgeny Dadanov really slipping tonight. So, kudos to you, Dadanov. You probably sharpened your skates. You worked on your edges. Thank you. Third star with 8% of the vote. Colin White. 
that line with uh, Nick Paul, like I said in the first period, I think it feels like forever. I did that like three something in the afternoon, but Colin White, that line with Paul and Dadanov is fantastic. And that line, frankly, is the best line Ottawa has going right now. They're producing offense almost every single time they're out there. Keep it together. Colin White, I don't even, I can't believe he was even scratched to begin with uh, this season. He's clearly an NHL player. More importantly, he's clearly a top six forward. And, um, his chemistry with Paul and Dadanov is uh, excellent, and um, they're looking good together, so he's playing well. Second start with 15% of the vote, and the game-winning goal, Brady Kachuk. Um, beautiful, beautiful ending to this game. Nice deflection there, nice little selly too. 15% of the vote, he's your second star. And the first star, redeeming himself. After yesterday, all the Sens fans, and myself included in the comment section on my last video, were calling for Marcus Hogberg to be scratched, to be waived, to be traded. He is your Senstock star of the night with 75% of the vote. Marcus Hogberg was fantastic tonight. He faced 31 shots, stopped 30 of them, and he finally got a win. And that's one of, that's a, he has less than 10 wins in the NHL, I believe. So that must feel good for him. And that's a huge win for him to, to keep himself in the National Hockey League. That will keep him for sure in contention for that backup position. He will be competing with Joey DeCourt though, but hey, he looks solid tonight. And um, it's one game, but hey, hopefully he can build off that. But besides that, ladies and gentlemen, comment below and let me know what you think. I know what you think, but I would love to comment and talk. I just want to talk to you guys. Let's talk about this beautiful win and let's enjoy it. But besides that, thank you for watching. Please follow me on Twitter at Sinstock underscore and on Instagram at Sinstock. Be sure to like this video, share this video with your cool stuff, and click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. And most importantly, turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Besides that, sends win. Sens win. Sens win. 2-1. to one. And I'll see you on Monday when the Sens take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. So besides that, thank you for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you Monday. Go Sens go.